Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video from virtualroof.com. If you want to learn more about our company, you can go to our website at www.virtualroof.com or you can search for virtualroof.com on YouTube or you can email us at info at virtualroof.com or you can call us at 866-932-2281. Okay, so we had a customer call in today wanting to know how to change the standard letter in ACT, the letter that comes up when you click on write and letter, how to change that to have their letterhead with their logo and also um, the footer down below. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my virtual desktop. We're a hosting company, Virtual Roost. Virtual Roost roof host software um, over the internet and this is my virtual desktop I'm sitting in Florida but this desktop is coming from our data center in Washington so I'm going to switch over to act real quick and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the right pull down menu and we're going to click on edit template and we're going to scroll to the right until we see the one that's called letter. This is the plain letter that is in the right pull down menu when you click on right and letter. So we're going to open that up. And here we have it. And it opens up and it pops up the ACT fields. Again, this is the full blown version of ACT that we're hosting in this environment. It's not ACT for web. You can't do this in ACT for web. Um, but at any rate, this, these are the fields in my ACT database. I'm not going to need those for this project, so I'm just going to close on that. And so here we have it. We have, here's the plain letter, and you can see how it's designed. And I'm going to go now to the letterhead that my customer sent me. And as you can see, we've got a logo at the top, and if I scroll down, we've got this footer down below with an address and phone number down there. So all I've got to do is double click up here in the header section to open up the header section and then I can hit control A on my keyboard that selects everything in that header and then I can hit control C to copy that and I go over to the plain letter and even though this one doesn't have a header if I double click in that space it'll it'll launch one or it'll open up one and now I can hit control V for paste now the first thing you might notice here is that the um, this section over here, the header, is kind of chopped off and moved down to the next line or it's wrapped to the next line. And so when we look at that, we try to figure out what's going on. Everything seems to be the same. The margins are the same. Um, the font size is the same. If I go to my home button, take a look at that, um, and I can start to compare the two. So I go back to the other one. And I notice that this font size does seem smaller. So when I look at it, it's set to 10. But look, if you look at the font itself, it's a different font. The other one was Times New Roman. So I need to change this font. Now, I'm not sure why it changed. Um, I think it has to do with the fact that maybe that specific font is not available on the server. So what i got to do is i got to highlight that whole line there. And it was Calibre. Uh, which is right here and sure enough it is there um, but it, for some reason it's still wrapping so what we need to do is just backspace a little bit until we get that to come up to that line so and it still looks pretty much the same as it did on the other uh, letterhead so I'm going to move out of the header now and come down to where this date field is and I'm going to move that down just a little bit because in this sample that the customer sent me, there's another line here, but it's not actually in the header. It's it's just right here at the top of this document. So I got to double click to get out of the header, and then I got to copy that line. Control C to copy, and I come back over to here and Control V, and. Let's take a look and see. It's probably just a, either a right justified line. Yeah, it's just right justified. So that's all I've got to do here is right justify that. All right, so then what we need to do is get that footer. So I'm going to scroll. Oh, let's take a look at this. Oh, the font changed again. So let's fix that.
Okay, so now it's the same font. And now we need to take care of the footer. So if we scroll down to the bottom of this document and we double click down here, Control A, Control C, and we double click down here in the footer, Control V, and now that's it. That's all we've got to do. And all I've got to do at this point is hit save because I want this to be my new letter. Um, so all you got to do is hit save and you're done. I'm going to hit actually file save as because this is my, uh, my desktop and I don't want this customer's letterhead in my desktop. So I'm going to hit letter two and I'm going to hit save. And so now when we go back to act, and we go to write, the customer is going to be able to hit letter. I saved mine as letter two, so I'm going to hit other document just to make sure that it's working. So then I'm going to scroll over to the right, and there's letter two. Open, and boom, there you have it. It's working perfectly. Again, thanks for watching this video from virtualroof.com. If you want to learn more about our company, you can go to our website at www.virtualroof.com or you can do a search on YouTube for virtualroof.com to watch one of our other videos or you can go or send an email to info at virtualroof.com or you can call us at 866-932-2281.